Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tamika and today I have quite an extensive fabric haul for you. I want to start by giving a big shout out to Kristen from the Dahlia Society. She featured me in one of her most recent videos, so I really appreciate the love there. And welcome to all of my new subscribers who found me through Kristen. Uh, if you don't know who I'm talking about, she is a fellow Aussie uh, YouTube sewing vlogger. <laughs> and she puts out some really inspirational and informative videos, so I will leave a link for her down below. While you're down there, if you're not already, you can subscribe to me as well uh, and like this video to help others find me. Um, so I went on a little bit of a fabric buying spree and this first little lot that I'm going to show you is kind of what started it and really is where it should have ended. But <laughs> I'd found some really lovely fabrics um, over a period of time and decided what the heck. Uh, but this first little collection is uh, probably one of the most expensive fabric purchases that I've made. Uh, so it's definitely going to hopefully be an investment. Uh, if I can make the right thing from them uh, and make things that are going to be timeless and things that I love. So, oh, I'm so nervous. I love these fabrics so much and I really, really hope I don't wreck them. But anyway, uh, the first one that I got here, these are all from Miss Maud in New Zealand. Um, and I will be linking anything down below that I mention, uh, as well as the stores themselves. So from Miss Maud in New Zealand, I purchased this Atelier Brunette Viscose Crepe and I'm in love. <laughs> it's in the off-white colorway uh, and I don't know if you can see there, it's got that beautiful crepe texture. It is quite a lightweight sort of crepe, so I will probably need to line this. Uh, I plan on making a fairly simple top, um, so probably sleeveless. And look, I splurged and uh, I want to make it a little button back top. So I splurged, like I said, and got the matching Atelier Brunette buttons to go with it. I've got six of them here. They have a, a gold shank back. Is that what you call it? A shank? Uh, so it's gold on the back with an enamel uh, fill on the front. Hopefully my camera focuses there and you can see them. They are beautiful little buttons. Um, and like I said, I've got six of them to do a little button up uh, button back top. So I do plan on hopefully drafting that one myself. Uh, I will do a few twirls in other fabrics along the way um, before I cut into this beautiful, beautiful crepe uh, that I am obsessed with. <laughs> From Miss Maud, I also bought a couple of Mansion and Mills uh, tensile twills. So for the longest time, I had these in my shopping basket um, for days, if not weeks, um, and I would revisit it almost daily and change my mind every time that I went. Um, so I ended up getting it in two colors. I got it in this one here, which is called Cape Breton. Uh, it's, I would probably describe it as a dark tan. Um, and yeah, I love it. It's super, super soft with that tensile in there. Um, and you can see a kind of the fiber texture. Again, really, really lovely. Uh, can't wait to make some dreamy pants out of this. Uh, like I said, I was stuck. I couldn't help it. I also got it in black. <laughs> So what started this all, I have a pair of ready to wear pants uh, that are quite a relaxed sort of fit, quite flowy, uh, and I wanted to replicate it. So the ones that I have are black and 
my weight kind of fluctuates up and down quite a lot. So they are currently uh, about a size, maybe even two sizes too big. So I was hoping to make some smaller ones out of these for when I am at a lower weight, uh, like now, <laughs> and uh, be able to wear them all of the time because like I said, they are some of my favorite, favorite pants. So these fabrics are absolutely dreamy and so luxurious and uh, I spent a lot of money on them, but I couldn't be happier really. Um, I just hope that I can make the things that I want from them without ruining this beautiful fabric. So that's those ones there. I did also get some little labels from there while I was uh, online. Uh, so I think they are Kylie and the Machine labels. I don't know where I've put them, so I don't have them to show you. Uh, but yeah, so Miss More Than New Zealand, they were wonderful to deal with. So really happy with that purchase. So moving on from there, uh, this one is a spotlight fabric. So this is a cotton duck that I could not resist. <laughs> um, I'm not usually an animal print person, but this just stood out to me. I couldn't leave it there. Um, so like I said, it's a cotton duck uh, with kind of a dark khaki background with giant leopard print spots all over it. Um, and I'm obsessed. Uh, I'm definitely in a pants mood because I definitely see these as pants as well. Uh, I'm actually, I'm waiting for, there's a new pattern company called Courtesy. I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, they have been teasing me with uh, a pair of pants on their Instagram for a few weeks now. And I cannot wait for them to release that pattern. They look like they're going to be the perfect pair of pants. Um, so again, I will link their Instagram down below. They are doing, um, as far as I know, I think they're doing standard sizes, but then you can also, there's an option where you can put in your measurements and they will create a pattern that is just for you. So I think that's a really exciting uh, sort of venture in pattern making. Um, they're doing the same for actual ready to wear clothing as well. So they'll be selling both the pattern or the made up version as well. So yeah, I'll leave a link for them down below, but I'm kind of holding on to this for that pattern. Um, but I really love the kind of bone colored linen that they do it in as well. So I'm torn. I just want these in pants, um, but I also want those pants. So <laughs> I'll see what happens there. I think I'm gonna veer away from the fabric for a minute. Um, and I've actually been kind of working on my pin collection. <laughs> I've kind of chosen to color coordinate my pins, but what I've done, I've actually got uh, some glass head pins as well as some stretch pins. Um, ideally, I think I want to eventually get a collection of just pink for all of my uh, non glass head pins, but I ended up picking up some glass head pins in white. So these are just the Birch brand from Spotlight uh, and they've got their little glass heads. Oops, one just fell out. <laughs> but um, so my glass head pin collection is going to be white. Uh, any of the, I'm just gonna find that one before I lose it in the carpet. Um, any of my plastic pins, like I said, I eventually plan to have them all pink. And then my stretch pins come in this little packet. So you get both red and white in there. Um, I got several packets of these and have been separating them. So that I've got white and red separately. So my white ones, I'm going to pop away in a drawer and the stretch pins are all going to be red so that I can differentiate between what sorts of pins that I'm using uh, and use them for their correct purposes. So yeah, I've got some stretch pins there. Um, now these uh, will be used for anything that you would use a stretch or ballpoint needle for. So any knit fabrics and things. Um, 
just so that they don't pierce the actual fibers of the fabric they'll go between the fibers um, whereas these ones can be used for like any of your woven fabrics so yes white for wovens red for stretch uh, and pink for anything else <laughs> I also got one of the Simflex sewing gauges, uh, which I am super excited about. Um, so these are, you know, stretchy little contraptions that are great for using to uh, evenly separate your buttonholes and buttons. Uh, it also recommends it for shirring or if you're making bias binding so that you get really nice even uh, sort of separations. <laughs> um, this and the stretch pins I got from Seamstress Fabrics which is a Melbourne based company. Small business? I don't know. Small business. Um, and they again really lovely to deal with uh, and it was all sent very quickly given circumstances um, and yeah happy with those purchases too. In these purchases I was really trying to kind of support local businesses. By local I mean you know Australia, New Zealand uh, businesses. So this one is another Australian based small business. Uh, so these are from Pit Trading. I don't actually know where they're located but uh, she has been putting together some lovely little lingerie kits recently um, or bra kits and she is restocking them quite regularly at the moment and has actually opened up for international shipping as well which is really exciting so keep an eye out for those again I will link them down below this one here won't be available anymore because she does kind of change them really regularly and keeps them nice and fresh and fun so this little kit here that I got uh, has kind of just about everything that I will need to make my first bra. I will pull it all out and show you separately. So to start with there are my some little embellishments, uh, rings and <laughs> sliders. I don't know the names of all of these things yet. I haven't made any bras or lingerie at all so uh, I'm still learning but those are the little uh, extra bits that I got in this kit. I also, it comes with bra strap elastic, <laughs> um, some fold over elastic and some lingerie elastic as well. Um, if you couldn't tell, the kit that I got is like a seafoam kit. Um, so it also comes with bra mesh. <laughs> um, it's got a nice kind of crystal sort of finish to it. Um, that little bit of stretch that it needs. And lastly, a lovely piece of seafoam lace. Um, so it's got that nice sculpt edge, scalloped edge. <laughs> Uh, and is yeah a beautiful color so they all match really well together and I should be able to get at least a bra and panties from it if not more. Uh, I am trying to decide which pattern to use for these so if you have a favorite bra pattern let me know down below. The ones that I'm currently trying to decide between are the Black Beauty bra by Emerald Erin and the Marlborough bra who I can't actually remember who it's by, but again, I'll link them down below. Um, and yeah, if you have any favorite patterns, let me know uh, because I've never done this before and I'm very excited to jump into this project. Last but not least, I did pick up some more fabric from Homecraft Textiles, which is again, a Perth based company. Um, they have been having a 30 to 50% off online sale uh, this whole way through uh, isolation and I checked this morning and it is still running at this point in time. I don't know how much longer it's going to go for, um, but I have stocked up on a whole lot of t-shirt fabrics uh, for both my husband and myself. Uh, I let my husband pick out 
a bunch of colors and will be I'm still playing around with the LB Textiles sage tea pattern. Um, so I'm in the middle of trying out some v-necks for him uh, and a couple of longer sleeve options as well. Uh, and you will have to wait for my May Makes video to see the other version that I made for myself. I made it into a dress. So uh, with that pattern, uh, I have quite a lot of fabrics here to make some more shirts um so these are all of the ones Ooh, if i can get it up i got for my husband like i said he went through and picked out which colors he thought he would like um it can be a little bit difficult picking online but most of these i think are fairly true to what i thought they were going to be we did end up with two in the same colorway where we didn't order them um one of these i think these are the light turquoise color um, and one of them was supposed to be a sky blue, but that's okay. <laughs> um, we are quite happy with what we've got. Um, I do also have some white oof, there as well for him. Um, and for myself, let me just find somewhere to put them. Um, for myself, I've gone a little bit more neutral and kind of warm tone. So I've gone for an off white rather than just the plain stark white. Um, I've got the grey mull and like a beigey nude sort of colour and the pink there as well. So all of these are either a cotton lycra blend or just the combed cotton jersey. Um, the cotton lycra does have a much larger colour range so I think most of them are the cotton lycra blend. Um, but yeah i've already started getting stuck into a few of those uh and from them i also have a couple of other fabrics um so this one here i showed in my uh show us your stash video so this is a swimwear fabric uh that i love um i was really happy when this one arrived this is uh like a bright turquoise background with some really big lilies printed all over it in various colors um and i've got plenty here to make uh maybe a couple of mix and match pieces um for a two-piece swimsuit or possibly a two-piece and a one-piece i don't know yet um but i love this and watch out summer <laughs> That was terrible. Um, the last fabric here that I've got to show you um, is a little bit more boring, but it's just a nude color in their, where is it? It's a Celanese lingerie knit, uh, which I believe is a cellulose acetate, a rayon and spandex blend. So it's a really beautiful, soft, lightweight fabric. Um, not too sheer, uh, but I plan on making a slip out of this, either a slip or a camisole to wear under my more sheer makes or purchases. Um, I do, I did order quite a lot of it, so I might have enough to make both, um, a cami and a slip, but again, we'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So that is everything that I've got to show you today. Um, this is not an exhaustive list of everything that I've purchased while in isolation. Uh, this is just <laughs> the bits that I thought would be the most interesting. Um, I have also got things like flannelettes for just some pajama pants. Uh, and I've got a whole bunch of tool for a secret project that may or may not ever see the light of day on the internet. Um, and what else? I also, oh, I have a fabric order coming from Mood Fabrics, but it is taking its sweet time getting here. Um, I think they've been run off their feet there. So, um, I have some off-white denim coming from them, uh, with the plans for some Megan Nelson Morgan jeans, I think they are. 
Um, and also some silk organs are coming from there for a pressing cloth, which I'm really excited about. It's pink, of course. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I really hope that you have a wonderful week ahead. Um, videos coming up, I have some plants for June. Uh, as well as what I've made in the month of May. Um, and I do plan to have a Chandler Pants sew along where I actually hope to make some modifications to that pattern to add in a zipper front. So uh, if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe down below. You can turn on the bell notifications to see when it is that I post. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.